Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be putting a clear PPF on my headlight and um, you know this is my PPF piece for the headlight. The very first thing you need to do is uh, clean the headlight very well. I did uh, wash it, I clayed it really 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 good. You can use any clay to clean it um, and you know once it's clayed uh, what you need is a solution. This is a solution with a baby soap um, and water and distilled water and this is a solution with the alcohol 70 percent alcohol and uh, distilled water and a little bit of baby baby shampoo so like in this bottle if you're making uh water and baby soap solution you probably need like two pumps of or two or three pumps of uh, baby soap you know for this much water all the way top filled up 25 ounce you know just two or three pumps it should be enough as long as you have this much so we don't, we don't want to overdo with the soap either I uh, just need a little bit of lubrication and then um, for uh, the alcohol mixture you know this is kind of like the same ratio uh, maybe a little bit less soap and uh, you know just uh, pour maybe one ounce of uh, one ounce over there uh, so I maybe had like you no know, not really one ounce two and a half ounce I think for this much water so kind of like you know it's, it's, there's no formula for it to be honest with you it's kind of as long as you can smell the alcohol I think that should be plenty so the very first thing we're going to do is already peeled it off and sprayed on the back side with alcohol uh, tacky solution so what i'm going to do is uh, going to use a mixture of soap right now i'm spraying soap and then i'm going to spray a little bit of tacky solution with the headlight just enough for it to hold and then uh, i'll go ahead and uh, place this right here the tacky solution kind of helps holding it in place and then you want to take the soap and then the soap water you just spray it on top so the tacky solution kind of goes on the back side uh you can use some soap on the back side you know it all depends uh, do you really have to use tacky solution uh for a smaller section we probably may not even need to but since alcohol displaces water it it's helpful and it kind of holds it in place if i didn't have the tacky solution this is, layer will start sliding off because it just becomes too slippery so uh, now it's just a matter of you aligning the cuts and corners and uh, you can see you may have some misalignment right there which is completely fine um, you know it doesn't have to be perfect perfect you can either start from that corner towards this side or this corner from to all the way to that side uh, again it's just a matter of preference i'm just going to start from this side and uh, start making sure you start taking all the water out because if you don't that becomes a problem start squeezing the water out Now you can also heat up the film if needed to stretch and things like that you know uh, let's see if i'm gonna need to or not you can see how i'm just trying to squeeze squeegee the water out Now since half of the headlight is on, you can take a piece of rag and just kind of wipe it. This also helps you identify any bubbles once it's clean. Just make sure that you have a nice and clean uh, microfiber piece. And that side looks good. 
Oh, I'm going to come on this side. And try to align this part. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and spray some soap on this side. Make sure you continually wet your hands to make sure your hands have some soap on there. And uh, we'll, we'll see how this, these wrinkles come out once you stretch it a little bit. I'm stretching fine, so I don't think I'm going to need heat. But if I heat this area, it may help a little bit, you know, with the wrinkles. So, let's see the heat done. Let's make sure it's at a far distance so you're not applying direct heat. You can also use a steamer. sure you get all the squeegee water out. It's very important guys. Some of it you may have to go upwards. So this part is all done. That's it guys, now we're going to do the other that leg.
and that's it. So it's done. So that's pretty much it guys, you know, this is how you install the PPF on any car. If you want to see how to install the PPF on the entire front bumper and other parts of the car, please uh, check out the link in the description below. I'm going to leave some links there. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.